Kenny Rogers tragically died of a painful secret that lasted seven decades. Kenny Rogers was an iconic American singer, songwriter, and actor who left an indelible mark on the world of country music, as well as pop culture at large. Born on August 21, 1938, in Houston, Texas, Rogers came from a modest background, the fourth of eight children in a poor family. His early life was shaped by the struggles of growing up in poverty, but it also fostered a deep appreciation for music. This passion would become his salvation and the foundation of his illustrious career, which spanned more than six decades. Growing up in a working-class neighborhood in Houston, Rogers was exposed to a wide variety of musical influences from a young age. His parents, though financially strapped, instilled in him the value of hard work and perseverance, qualities that would later define his career. As a teenager, he experimented with different musical styles, initially performing with local bands. His first group, The Scholars, a doo-wop group, saw minor regional success, hinting at his budding talent. By the early 1960s, Rogers was part of the jazz-influenced folk group, the new Christie Minstrels, but it wasn't until he ventured out with the rock and country fusion band The First Edition in 1967 that his career truly began to gain traction. The First Edition gave Rogers his first taste of mainstream success with hits like Just Dropped In, To See What Condition My Condition Was In, a psychedelic rock song that demonstrated his versatility. However, it was his pivot to country music in the 1970s that truly catapulted him into stardom. Signing as a solo artist, Rogers quickly became a household name, blending country with pop sensibilities that appealed to a wide audience. His breakout solo hit, Lucille, released in 1977, topped charts internationally and earned him his first Grammy Award. This was just the beginning of a string of hits that would define the country music landscape for decades to come. Kenny Rogers was known for his signature storytelling style, which was deeply woven into the fabric of his songs. His 1978 release The Gambler became one of the most iconic country songs of all time. The song's themes of wisdom, resilience, and life lessons transcended the genre, earning Rogers another Grammy and cementing his status as a global superstar. It led to a series of TV movies based on the song, in which Rogers starred, further solidifying his cultural influence beyond music. In addition to his solo successes, Rogers was also known for his unforgettable collaborations with other music legends. His duet with Dolly Parton, Islands in the Stream, released in 1983, is often regarded as one of the greatest country duets in history. The song, written by the Bee Gees, topped the charts across multiple genres and remains a beloved classic. His work with other stars like Lionel Richie, who wrote and produced Rogers' hit Lady, also showed his ability to blend musical styles seamlessly. Beyond his music career, Rogers was a multifaceted entertainer. He found success in acting, particularly through his portrayal of Brady Hawks in the series of The Gambler TV movies, based on his famous song. His natural charisma and rugged charm made him a favorite on screen, and he appeared in several films and television shows throughout his career. Rogers' broad appeal also saw him starring in commercials, hosting television specials, and making guest appearances on popular shows, further solidifying his role as a pop culture icon. Rogers' influence extended far beyond the stage and screen. He was also an entrepreneur, launching ventures like the restaurant chain Kenny Rogers Roasters which became a cultural reference point thanks in part to an iconic episode of Seinfeld. Though the restaurants eventually closed in the U.S., they remained popular in parts of Asia, showcasing Rogers' enduring global influence. Kenny Rogers, one of the most iconic voices in country music, tragically carried a painful secret for much of his life that would only come to light toward the end. Over a seven-decade career, Rogers achieved staggering success, but the toll it took on his physical and emotional health was enormous. As a man driven by his passion for music and a relentless pursuit of stardom, he found himself sacrificing his well-being and personal happiness for the sake of his career. Rogers wasn't just a country music star, he was a multi-genre phenomenon whose talent crossed boundaries. Known for his unique voice, which blended country, pop, and rock influences, he became a household name in the 1970s and 80s. His fame came with an unrelenting schedule. 
Rogers often traded personal hobbies and leisurely activities for rehearsals, performances, and recordings, consistently placing his career above his health. The intensity of his workload left little time for self-care, and he began neglecting his physical health, an issue that became more prominent as his career advanced. Kenny's success brought not just wealth and fame, but also the pressure to maintain his position in the music industry. The immense burden to keep producing hits, performing sold-out tours, and staying relevant in a competitive industry caused him to neglect his personal needs. Although he was outwardly a symbol of success, inside, Rogers battled with overwhelming responsibilities, and the drive to keep his career afloat started to take its toll on his body and mind. Despite his charm and ever-present smile, Rogers struggled with balancing his well-being with his career demands. He admitted to neglecting his health, often skipping meals and maintaining irregular eating habits due to his fast-paced lifestyle. This unhealthy pattern led to weight fluctuations and a weakened immune system. More than that, the stress of juggling the intense demands of stardom caused him to experience bouts of depression. Depression was a secret battle for Rogers, one that he mostly kept to himself. As the years passed, he found it increasingly difficult to remain energized, despite his love for performing. His personal life suffered as well, with several marriages ending in divorce. He became more isolated, particularly in his later years, as his focus on work and the stress associated with maintaining his legacy left him detached from family and friends. Another significant factor that contributed to Rogers' struggles was the heavy workload he carried throughout his career. Touring, recording, and managing the business side of his career were all-consuming. Even as he grew older, Rogers found it difficult to slow down. The pressure to meet expectations, both from his audience and himself, prevented him from taking much-needed breaks. He continuously pushed through health challenges, exhaustion, and emotional strain, believing that slowing down might mean losing everything he had built. The combination of mental and physical exhaustion finally began to manifest in Rogers' health, but he continued to perform despite feeling increasingly tired. His resilience and dedication were admirable, but they also contributed to his decline. As he aged, these issues worsened, making it increasingly challenging for him to sustain the same level of intensity that he had maintained in his younger years. In 2017, after more than 60 years of performing, Rogers finally announced his retirement, citing health concerns. He had been diagnosed with bladder cancer, a condition that he kept relatively private. Rogers' decision to step back from the limelight was not just about ending his career. It was an acknowledgement of the toll that decades of relentless work had taken on his body. Bladder cancer was just one of the many health issues he had to contend with, and his deteriorating condition left him no choice but to retire. As his health continued to decline, Rogers' battle with bladder cancer became increasingly severe, requiring constant care. By March 2020, he was placed under hospice care at his home in Sandy Springs, Georgia, where he spent his final days surrounded by close family members. On March 20, 2020, Rogers passed away at the age of 81. His death marked the end of an era for country music, but it also highlighted the difficult, and often painful, journey he had endured in private. Kenny Rogers' legacy is undoubtedly one of triumph. With iconic hits like The Gambler, Lady, and Islands in the Stream, his contributions to the music industry remain legendary. However, beneath the accolades, Rogers endured profound struggles. He dedicated his life to his career, often at the expense of his own health and happiness. The seven-decade-long career that cemented his place in music history was also marked by personal sacrifices and physical suffering. His story is a powerful reminder of the toll that fame and success can exact on an individual. Despite the public adoration and his musical accomplishments, Kenny Rogers' life was filled with personal challenges, challenges that he faced quietly, until his body could no longer endure the weight of his success and his illness. His death was the final chapter in a life that, while celebrated for its achievements, was also burdened by pain and sacrifice.